There are a lot of Animal Crossing characters, and people get attached to them. There's so much love put into each and every, not you, one of their designs. And what they have as their names plays a big part in that. Over the last few years, we've gone over the origins and etymology of every single Pokemon name in a few different languages too. And that was significantly deeper than this will ever be, but still. They all have names for a reason. So today, we are going to go over all of the villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons to give big props to Nintendo and especially the localization team that figured all this out because some of them are super cool. And of course, we're going to try to keep this short because there's literally a billion of them and the heat death of the universe cannot come soon enough. So let's go alphabetically. Admiral is back. Both his English and Japanese names are about sailing or sailors. And it just so happens that he might be named after Admiral Byrd, a famous naval officer and explorer. Agent S is definitely not Secret Agent Squirrel, just an Agent Squirrel, okay? But I'm sure Squirrel is what the S stands for. Agnes the Pig. In the real world, the name Agnes means holy or pure. And this pig is the Uchi personality type, so she is extremely nice and friendly and I, I know, I know. I kept thinking Angus too, but that's beef, not pork. Al, the lazy gorilla, is the first challenging one we've got. Oh geez, that didn't take long. His Japanese name is Tamatsu, which is the name of a few Japanese football players who I assume were semi-famous enough, as they have their own Wikipedia pages. Plus Al's hair and eyebrow combo and his whole demeanor is, it's very Japanese to me. It reminds me of Rikia from Yakuza 3, who was also a very laid back character, lazy when he could be, but he still kept up his physical strength regardless. Similarly, Al is lazy and eats a lot, but is also into strength and fitness. So I guess that kind of fits. This has to be some sort of Japanese trope or they both have to be referencing some other Japanese character that I just couldn't find in my research. But if you know anything about this, then please let me know down below. But anyway, personally, I know Al is a name associated with big guys in media. Big L is the mascot of a college football team, a famous little leaguer, this bear, the name of several restaurants that serve super fattening foods, and, well, gorillas? And football players? They're big. Big and strong. Alfonso is an alligator that is a big Mario fan. He says, it's a me, and wears a big M shirt. And, well, Alfonso, Alligator. Plus, Alfonso is the Italian version of the name Alphonse, because Mario's Italian. Ah, uh, Alice, or in Japanese, Melbourne, is an Australian koala that says Govna. And I mean, I guess that's a good enough reason as any to be named after one of Australia's larger cities. And the English name Alice refers to Alice Springs, another city in Australia, and one that features a huge kangaroo and koala sanctuary. Ali, the alligator. Simple as that. Amelia, a reference to Amelia Earhart, the famous American aviation pioneer, perfect for an eagle name. Annabelle the Anteater. The name means loving and beautiful, and she does have a pretty flower dress, so add that on top of the fact that Anna is similar to Ant, as an anteater, and well, there you go. Uh, this connection is a lot more obvious with Antonio, though, who is the male counterpart to Annabelle. Hey, he's an anteater! Antonio! Hey! Anchovy. Chovies! Is a bird who eats a lot. I mean, his catchphrase is burp, but a bird, so it's chirp. And, well, he's named after what he eats. Many birds eat anchovies regularly. Anka's name is based on the Ankh, which is the Egyptian hieroglyphic character that reads life and is based on the shape of female reproductive organs, hence why she's so popular. But also, her name could come from the famous Egyptian pharaoh Tut Ankh Amun whose tomb inspired Anka's hair colors and snake hairpiece. Angus, he's a bull named Angus. It's like a pig named pork. It's kind of messed up, yo. Anacati, Anacati is a more feminine wording of manicotti, but an is in front because girl. Manicotti is a pasta dish completely stuffed with copious amounts of cheese because mice and rats love cheese, according to media. Annalisa, again, an, ant. However, she's like a porcelain doll, and due to the time period these dolls were popular, many of them have names just like Annalisa, fancy sounding English grandma names. And a bonus fact is that her Japanese name, Miyabi, is an ancient Japanese aesthetic that's super elegant and lovely. Annalise. Her Japanese name is Shurubipipur. I'm, 
I'm not great at this. Uh, it's a rough transcription of the French phrase, s'il vous plaît, which means please. In this case, like, oh, please, because she's snooty. And being snooty also is fitting for the name Annalise, which means graced with God's bounty. But eh, it also means donkey in French. <laughs> So there's that. Apollo the Eagle, who for sure is an American. I mean, leather jacket, basically a bald eagle, a reference to Apollo 11, the first manned mission to land on the moon, the, its lunar module, LM5, used the call sign Eagle, and a bald eagle also appears on the mission patch? Yeah. Apple! Not the fruit, the hamster. It looks like an apple with red fur and green ears. So its name is Apple. Astrid is a kangaroo with star shapes all over her, kind of like the Australian flag. The name probably comes from Astro, meaning star. Again, she wears a star shirt and has a star on her face. Her name in Japanese means kids, which relates to the fact that she's a kangaroo. She carries her kids in her pouch. Audi, she's an old fox. And some believe that her English name is a reference to an 88-year-old grandmother who famously logged over 3,500 hours in Animal Crossing New Leaf. What a great way to honor the dedication. Aurora, Aurora is named after the Aurora which can be seen in the skies above the South Pole where most species of penguins live. Ava is a chicken named after her bird-like qualities. She's avian, Ava. And maybe mix that with ova, the old way of saying ovum. You know, like chicken ovum. Eggs, Avery. This guy likes patterns, and his name comes from aviary, a place for keeping birds. And bonus fact, the name in the Japanese version actually comes from Cree, this word, meaning blackish, referring to his gray coloration. Axel, because elephants used to pull giant trailers on axles, and his Japanese name translates roughly to extra large, so that's pretty funny. Barbara, a sheep goes ba, and ladies wear bras, but really it's just the common name Barbara, but a sheep. Bam, as in the Bambi movie, duh. Bangle. It's these things that are worn, especially in areas where tigers live. And it's also similar to the type of tiger she is, a Bengal tiger. It sounds close enough. It's a pun. Barold. <laughs> He's an old bear. And Harold is a funny name already, so <laughs> add bear. Bayou. Uh, pronounced bow. It's a common nickname for boyfriends or male significant others in areas where deer hunting is common. In French, his name means handsome. So maybe that's why we call boyfriends beau, sort of like an old French word that just sort of stuck around in the South, where they spoke a lot of French back in the day. Bee, as in beagle, the type of dog. Fun fact, her Japanese name is actually just beagle. <laughs> Beardo, it's a bear who's a weirdo. Wait, a bear with a hairdo? A beard that's been styled, so a, a beard do? Becky looks exactly like a Becky, oh my God. And it rhymes with pecky, cause she's clucky as heck. Bella looks exactly like the total opposite of what most think a Bella should be. Bella, you think of like Disney princesses getting help from animals, like mice making the suit that they wear. They don't wear suits, what am I speaking? They wear dresses, that's the word I'm looking for. But no, she's not a pretty princess at all. She's totally a punk who goes against the grain. That's probably the whole point. She's a mix of proper upbringing, but with an ideology that wants to change the world. Benedict, like Eggs Benedict the style of eggs that are overrated. Benjamin the dog. His Japanese name is just a reference to the story of Hachiko, a famous dog. But Benjamin is actually a super common dog name, at least a few generations ago. Think Spot or Rover. And I mean, he kind of looks like Benjamin Franklin, right? Look at that. Bertha. Bertha is the kind of name you would normally put the word big before, as media stereotypically gives it to large characters, specifically because of Big Bertha, a name given to a range of large cannons. Her Japanese name means bean paste. Not sure why, but I thought it was funny. Bet Tina? Betina? I'm not sure that's even a name. Is this legal in California? Tina could be small, and she's a mouse, and Betty is a common name, especially when it comes to cooking, and that's what she loves doing. She loves cooking all the time, and there's Betty Crocker, there's Betty's Diner, and more. It was a big cooking-related name in the 50s. Bianca is a white tiger. Bianca is not only a regular name, but it also means white in Italian, and is similar to white in several other languages, too. Biff, the big meathead and the bully from Back to the Future. Biff is normally a name given to burly or large characters who may or may not be mean. But hey, if it's the type, he's a big hippo. Big Top, the villain of the group of adventurers. Well, more or less. Plus he's an elephant, so big is an apt name. And Top is likely a reference to Topsy, a famous circus elephant. Bill is a duck. Ducks have bills. Billy is a goat. Billy is a billy goat. Oh, 
Biscuit, another extremely common dog name. My brother's dog's name, and a series of children's books about a dog's name. Uh, and the thing you give to dogs who have been good. Uh, it's a super common dog name. Biddy! Get it? Because she isn't itty bitty at all because she's a hippo! Also, she sort of resembles the famous Betty Boop. Blair's name and a few other languages reference silhouettes, or just that she's black. But as for the English name, there's not much. The name itself means plain, or level fielded, which I guess silhouettes are? And her interiors tend to be that too, I suppose? Well, her first game appearance was shortly after the Blair Witch Project became a massive horror movie phenomenon, all about the darkness and such. And her stance and face is kinda creepy. Blanche. Blanche is white in French, which fits the white peacock character. Blue Bear. Bob. Cat. Bonbon, a sweet treat. And this rabbit's head kinda looks like a bonbon, or maybe it's like bun bun, meaning bunny. Bones. It's what dogs bury, ha, huh. it's a dog joke. Boomer, okay, but really it's because he's wearing a bomber jacket, it goes boom. Boon, he's just a freaking baboon. Boots, Boots not only has boots, but alligator skin is very fancy boot making material. Boris, ah, boar is, is like the Russian joke where the linking verb is before the descriptor. Is boar, boar is. Now pass vodka, we're only like 15% through the video. Oh. Boyd the Gorilla. In Japanese, his name is Boido, which means emptiness or vacant. Like this gorilla's expression. It's a void. Brie, as in the cheese. Broccolo has the phrase eat it, meaning it could be a reference to the vegetable broccoli. He's telling kids to eat it because they need to. Brofina, a chicken. Who's a bro? That's Fina. I'm not really sure. Even the Japanese name is just Cassandra, like it starts with a C. Yeah, C as in chicken. What? Bruce, or blue in Japanese, is a blue goat. So it's blue. And Bruce is similar to Brute, which he sort of is. And also bruises are bluish too. Bubbles are what hippos blow while they're under the water. Boom, easy. Buck is what horses do. Bud, because he's such a chill friend. Calling someone a bud is super common in the more laid back and warm parts of the world. Also, he's a hippie weed lion. His Japanese name basically means sunglasses though, so that's, that's minus a point to him. Bunny, it's, it's a bunny. Butch is a very common masculine name given to a very masculine looking breed of dog. The Rottweiler, it's another common dog name. Buzz, oh, I swear if it's because he's a buzzard. Oh. Kelly, who at one point was Sally, but had to change because someone else better came along named Sally, who was also a squirrel. Huh. But it could still be pronounced Sally, just with C-E instead of S, so Sally the squirrel. It just fits because humans like things that start with the same letter. The name Sally with a C means the most beautiful. And just look at how bashful she is as a result of that. Camo Frog. I feel like I'm just going to say its name again and slow zoom into the image. Camo Frog. Canberra is like Canberry, another big city in Australia where koalas live. Candy is a peppy mouse who probably eats too much candy. You'd have to be to be that happy all the time. Carmen is probably the ugliest villager. It looks like if you took some men and they all got hit by a car. Hence the name, uh, but actually the name likely comes from caramel, as the Japanese name means chocolate. These make sense. Her catchphrase is nougat, and she wants her house to resemble a chocolate explosion. Caroline is another name changer because she was previously named Bliss, but Caroline works too. It's a reference to Scurus carolinensis, the scientific name for gray squirrels. Carrie carries her baby in her pouch. Cashmere has a nice scarf that is probably made out of cashmere, which is a very nice material made out of wool. And guess what sheep have? An abundant need to feel accepted in society. Celia gets her name from the Latin word for heaven, as in the sky, and everything above it, because she's a bird. Caesar sees himself all high and mighty, and even says highness as his catchphrase. He's likely then named after Julius Caesar. Crazy powerful king emperor dude. I mean, he's got similar hair, I guess. There's also Caesar from Planet of the Apes, who was also named after Julius. Cheddar, he's a mouse. It looks like cheddar, the, the, the cheese. Uh, his name in Japanese is literally cheese. 
Charlize's name comes from the French or Portuguese word which translates to charm, a reference to her original Japanese name which was Charmy, like the Charmin Bear commercial. Also, she's chartreuse. It's the color she is. Chartreuse. Cherry, with an I, is peppy, fun, and flowery, and the color and shape of a cherry, but being spelt with an I makes it like the French word for deer, or darling. Cherry the dog is red like a cherry also, and this time is spelled just like the fruit. Chester, the panda bear, whose name in Japanese is Panta. Huh. Chester Bear is a children's book character, and also the name of a Hollywood actor bear. But here it could also be from Chess, since he's black and white, and his catchphrase, rookie, could reference rook pieces. Chiver, it's the French word for goat. Chief is an alpha wolf who is cranky, and sometimes alpha wolves are referred to as chiefs. Chops! Haha, <laughs> like the cut of meat that you get get from like lambs and pigs and stuff, because it's a it's an animal that people eat. <laughs> Dark is Japanese name Ton Fan is a pun on ton, meaning pork, literally, and Dauphin being the Japanese pronunciation of the former French noble title Dolphin, heir to the throne. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these by the way, but basically his name is Pork! Chops. Chow the panda is named that because the Chinese surname Zhao is a Chinese surname that relates to Chow and Chow Chow, and there's also Chow Main. It's, it's all perfect for pandas because pandas are Chinese. Chrissy was another very hard one. Ultimately, we feel like she was named that just because the localization team wanted to. I feel like there are a few characters who are just named something because of their attitude. It's like the name sounds like it fits. She's peppy, and Chrissy is a very peppy name. Like seriously though, digging in, there's nothing. The name doesn't have to do with clowns, or the circus, or rabbits, or whatever. The name means follower of Christ, and just by looking at her you can tell that that is the exact opposite of what she does. Like the best we can come up with is that she's cream colored and filled with bliss. Creamy bliss, Chrissy, mmm. Claude the rabbit could be like a dirt clod. You know, cause dirt balls and rabbits. Also, a clod hopper is a term for an awkward, clumsy fool, which he kind of is. And rabbits hop, so. Uh, his Japanese name, Vinegar, is a reference to vinegar. Not sure. Uh, lazy villagers like food, I guess. Claudia. She's a tiger. Tigers have claws. Clay is a dogu, a type of traditional Japanese clay figurine. So, clay. Cleo. Well, I googled horse facts, and it turns out that Cleo Riggi is a professional horseback rider and actress. So, there you go. Clyde is a Clydesdale, a type of horse. Coach. My friends call me Coach. He's a sporty bull, and he's a coach. Imagine if my name was YouTuber. Cob, like corn on the cob, a common staple for pigs, unfortunately. And his Japanese name, Hakase, means doctor, which refers to his appearance being similar to that of a stereotypical doctor. In Japan, they normally got big old glasses and weird faces like this. It's, it's just a thing. I don't know why. Koko is who started this whole idea for the video. Her Japanese name, Yayoi, comes from the historical era known as the Yayoi period, during which small clay figures known as Haniwa were produced. Like the gyroids, these Haniwa figures are what Koko's appearance is based on. On. But in English, uh, well, I mean, she looks kind of like a coconut, right? The three, the three holes. Coconut skin. Here you go. Coal is a black rabbit that would be a good reference to coal, a thing that is black. And when you light up a bunch of coal, it glows an orangey color on the inside, like that. It's, it's perfect. Colton, a horse. A colt is a young horse. Cookie, because she's so sweet like a cookie. Or maybe this is the biscuit joke again, but not American English. Clouseau is a very French dog. I mean, look at that mustache. It could possibly be referencing Jacques Cousteau, a famous Frenchman who researched the ocean. And sometimes French people are called frogs as an insult because they eat a lot of frogs. Cranston, a crane, croak. Get it? Croak as in the frog noise. And he's mad like the French. In French, croak means crunch or bite because because that's, that's what they do. Cube. In English, it could be from the GameCube, which was the console that he made his debut on, in the West at least. He also wore a GameCube shirt, so probably. Or maybe Ice Cubes, because he's a penguin. However, his Japanese name is French, actually. This, or screw in French, possibly referring to his weird eye-shaped screw top part thingy. Carlos is a woolly curly sheep from South America. Uh, it's the name Carlos and Curl mixed together. And I mean, look at that scarf. It's for sure South American. Curly is based off of one of the three stooges, the bald one, who says nyuk, and is also named Curly. <laughs> You can tell this is the fact because the villager in Animal Crossing has the catchphrase nyoink, 
The similarities are immense here. To be curt is to be impolitely brief, which Kurt definitely is with his cranky attitude. It's also short for Curtis, a more common name. Sid, or literally punks in Japanese, is probably named after Sid Vicious, the famous punk artist who also inspired many other punks in media being named Sid. Cryano. He is named after Cryano de Bergerac, a French dramaticist and duelist known, among other things, for his large nose. And French people are stereotypically cranky. Daisy is another good old-fashioned dog name, like Ladybird, Spot, Duke, Fido, Daisy. All good. Dina, in English as a name, is judged. Which doesn't help, but in Japanese her name is Marumo, which are these little moss balls in aquariums that are actually algae. And Dina does look like a little ball of moss. But I mean, Dina is a common enough name, and it's an alliterative name. It's Dina the Duck. It's like Peter Parker, James Jonah Jameson. Uh, those kinds of names. Deirdre is a deer. Del, the Japanese battleship Yamato, but an alligator. Maybe the English name comes from our big battleship. Delaware. Delhi the monkey may be a reference to New Delhi, the capital of India, because monkeys live in India. Derwin duck looks like a huge nerd. An Irwin of ducks, you could say. Irwin is a very common Poindexter name, likely spawning from Charles Darwin. Derwin. Diana, as in the mythical fae Diana, the goddess of the hunt who transformed a huntsman into a deer when he glimpsed at her bathing in the woods. And I mean, heck, this villager's decor is even bath-themed. Diva is a frog who looks like a diva. A diva is a celebrated female opera singer, though nowadays it also just means anyone who takes a lot of work to deal with because they are so full of themselves. Dizzy! Hardly a thing you'd want an elephant to be. Dizzy is basically a little kid. I mean, look at his interior and how he looks and how his skill is chugging milk. Little kids get wired and spin around just because they have the energy to do so. My wife would know, she's a preschool teacher. I asked her and she's like, oh yeah, that happens literally daily. I have to stop them or they'll crack their heads open. The name Dizzy is fitting, is what I'm saying. Dobie, or Dobby, wants to be a writer. And his name in other languages refer to a few famous writers, but in English the only name that really comes up is that of J. Frank Dobie, a Texan writer who was an American folklorist, best known for his many books depicting the richness and traditions of life in rural Texas during the days of the open range. Apparently, someone on the localization team grew up in Texas, because if you live in Texas and don't know about him, did you even go to school? Doc the Rabbit, a reference to the what's up doc phrase of Bugs Bunny. And also he's wearing the stereotypical Japanese doctor glasses again. Dom was another hard one, but it is a name associated with jocks, which he surprisingly is. They dominate the playing field and all, plus male sheep use their horns to fight for dominance. Maybe because he's a sheep, he's a dom in bed. Dora the mouse, like a dormouse. Uh, I, that's it, it's a, it's a dormouse. Dottie. The word Dottie can also mean eccentric or show a great interest in something or someone. Both of these fit with the airheaded yet positive nature of peppy villagers. Drago is a dragon. Simple again, thank goodness. Drake is a duck. And a drake is the name of a male duck, like bull and cow. Drift originally was only an islander, perhaps drifting along the ocean currents, man. But I like to think that his name is Drift because he's a race car driver. He's got a number 67 on his shirt. That's obviously his race number. Ed this is based off the famous Mr. Ed, the talking horse. Egbert. This is a chicken. Chickens lay eggs. Elise is another one of those names that the media gives to nerds. It just sounds nerdy, right? Ellie the Elephant. Elmer. <laughs> Ah, Elmer, because horses are turned into glue when they die. Elmer glue. Ah. Ah, uh, or I guess it's I guess that, that Elmer horse figurine set. If you wanted to be lame, you could just say it's that. But yeah, Elmer's glue used to be horse. Look it up. It's true. Eloise is another elephant. Elvis, the king himself and the king of the jungle, baby. Eric is a deer villager, but he looks more like an elk. Elk Rick. Eric Elk. You know, he also wears red. You know, Eric the Red was like a famous Nordic explorer. He had horns in his depictions, but not in actuality. But you know, media wins. Eugene, like a eucalyptus plant. They both have the U sound in front of them, and koalas are pretty much a one trick pony. They live in Australia, and they eat eucalyptus. It's, it's everything that is koala. Eunice, 
Remember how male ducks are called drakes? Well, female sheep are called you, and Eunice is pretty similar. Fang the wolf has fangs. OC do not steal. Fauna. Oh, female deer are called fawns. So fauna is a female deer. Boom, got it, next. Felicity is a cat. Cats are felines. Ooh, I'm on fire right now. Filbert. Uh, duh, he's named after the hazelnut. Next. Oh, you didn't know that the hazelnut is also known as the filbert nut? Well, it's also known as the cob nut. Did you know that one? Flip the monkey! Do it. You flip that monkey. Thank you. Named after the thing that monkeys do, which is flip. Especially those symbol monkeys. They flip and bang symbols. Flow. Like an ice flow. Also, this penguin likes music, which has flow to it. Flora Flamingo. Florida is the land of flamingos, so why not Flora? It also works because flowers, because she's so pretty. Oh, 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 and also she walks on the floor. Oh man, this name's deep. Flurry is colored white, like a flurry of snow, also known as a brief storm of light snow. Francine is Chrissy's sister, the better looking of the two. Her name means free one, which I guess works. You gotta be pretty free to be allowed to look like that. Fran is also a common rabbit name, as rabbits tend to be frantic. Frank, a cranky villager. And to be frank, his name means to be frank, or impolitely brief, and to the point. There, done with him. Freckles has freckles. And there's a type of duck called the freckled duck. Freya's name comes from the Norse goddess of beauty. And look at her, with her warm sweater and Norwegian saying, Frigga the penguin. It's frigid. That's the word origins. Frigid. Frita is fries in Portuguese, like French fries. And I mean, she's named Wendy in Japanese, probably because of the burger and fries stuff, like Wendy the restaurant. Frogbert. It's frog and Robert put together because he's a frog! Fuchsia is a terrible color. This thing is the color of her in her house. Gabby talks a lot because she's Gabby. Gala, as in Gala apples, who have such a nice reddish hue and such sweetness, but not so sweet. It's just like the normal villager type that she is. Gaston sounds like a French name, and that's because it is. It is a manly man's name. And just look at that moustache! Also, as a bonus, his phrase translates to my cabbage in French. I mean, I guess if I was the rabbit, I'd care about cabbages also. Gale could be a combination of gator and scale. Or, uh, how pink she is. Her Japanese name, Ali Getty, is the word alligator combined with Betty. It also sounds similar to Arigato. Japanese for thank you. Genji means military geek in Japanese, and Genji is also the titular character in The Tale of Genji by Murasaki Shikibu. This works well because he also wants to be a politician, and he looks like some depiction of feudal Asian tacticians. Gigi, from the 1958 American musical romance, Gigi. She was training to be a courtesan, a highly educated and cultured woman who will become a society darling and mistress to wealthy men. Thus, the Animal Crossing villager looks the way that she does. French mistress lady. Also, the guy in the film's name was Gaston, so there's more proof that Gaston is just a French dude name. Gladys is a red crane, whose name is based possibly off of the Everglades, where many cranes and herons live. Gloria's name in English and Japanese points towards Glorious Swanson. And I mean, with those eyes, you can definitely tell they are the same person. Goldie is a golden retriever, sometimes abbreviated as Goldies. Gonzo is a cranky koala who's not named after Australia. However, he still says mate at the end of all of his lines. Gonzo, though, means crazy or insane, and is also used to refer to gonzo journalism, which means articles that are written in the first person, filled with how things make the writer feel rather than objectivity. Think articles involving whining about things they don't understand, so they just complain about how a thing makes them feel. It can come off as sounding super cranky and old, behind the times and all that. Also, there's Gonzo the Muppet. Goose is a chicken colored like a goose. Graham is a grandpa hamster. Graham, cute! Greta comes from the full name Margreta, meaning pearl, relating back to her design as an otafuku, a type of Japanese mask of a beautiful pearlescent porcelain face. Grizzly is a grizzly bear. Groucho is a grumpy bear. He's cranky, thus a grouch. Gruff, like Billy Goat Gruff. Gwen, pen. Gwen. Pe. Gwen. Penguin. Like James Bond, this penguin never learned how to introduce itself. Hamlet. A hamlet is a small settlement, generally one smaller than a village. You know, small, like this little hamster. Could also be based on the Shakespearean play named Hamlet. 
Both are great choices. Hamfrey, because Hamster and Humphrey, a common name, mixed together. Hans. Realistically, the name Hans is a popular masculine name from Scandinavian countries, places characterized by cold temperatures and mountains, which makes sense because this guy looks like a Yeti. I mean, his Japanese name comes from snow and gorilla. So yeah, he's a Yeti. Harry is a gross hippo with gross facial hair, so his name is Harry. Hazel, like the nut. Squirrel. Henry has a weird connection, but hold on. So the frog prince fairy tale, right? We all know it. What's the name of the prince? It's not Henry. The servant's name is Henry, but it's close enough, right? Hippie ukes. Uh, supposedly pronounced Frenchly, so E U X. It's just O. Oh. oh, the name is just hippo, but fancy. Fun fact, in Pocket Camp, it was revealed that his real name is Gary. He's just kind of a nerd that's full of himself, so he had to have a fancy name. It's, it's, it's Hippo. Hopper is named after the Rock Hopper Penguin. It's got the same great eyebrows. Hornsby is a rhino with a horn. Huck might be a joke about Hicks, as he has a crooked smile and looks like he has something in his mouth. Think like Huckleberry Finn, that kid's book I had to read in class. Hugh is blue, and those rhyme, so he's a blue-hued pig. Iggy is named after igloos because it's a penguin. Ike, we all like him, eh? Right? We like Ike? In Japanese, it's dike, like the embankment on a river. I mean, I guess bears live near rivers. Uh, or, or, look at these eyes. They are similar to Eisenhower's eyes, you know, we like Ike and all. He was the president of the United States right after World War II, hence the camo. And he also introduced America to Smokey Bear, who's super iconic. How about that? Jacob, or Jakey, depending on your region, is a very colorful bird. Which, he might be a Jende Conoris, though he does have a lot of white on him. His Japanese name is no help here either, as it translates to Jakoten, which is a type of weird chicken nugget, but with fish. I guess it could still be J, as in Blue J, because that's a super common bird for Americans. It's just this is more fancy, it's more of a formal name. Jacques. It's French for Jack, right? Jacques Cousteau was a famous oceanographer who wore a beanie like our bird here. Also, the Japanese have a thing for the French, if you couldn't tell through all of this. It's just like Americans and their thing for Japan. Just thinking weeaboos. Are they called Westaboos over there? Jambet. You gross frog lips. I know fish lips is an insult, but these are something else. Jambet in French, however, translates to leggy, more or less. And boy, are those French frog legs delicious. Jay is named Jay because he's a blue Jay, even though he has a red head. I think it's because his Japanese name means swallow, which is another kind of bird that he resembles. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Dunna, no, he was a good friend of mine. Dunna, I never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. He's named after the famous song, Joy to the World, by Three Dog Night. Jitters has had one too many cups of coffee. I mean, look at those eyes, he's ready to snap. It's rather common to show that one is jittery with small pupils, making him appear nervous or stressed out. However, coffee or caffeine actually would make his eyes larger as a stimulant, so it releases adrenaline. However, too much coffee can dehydrate you, which means tighter eyes and shakes, since the word jittery. Joey the Duck. Like, whoa. I thought the name Joey would have been for a kangaroo, but nope, it's a duck. He's a lazy villager, so he loves food. And we all know, Joey doesn't share food. Joey is also another stereotypical jock name, the popular high school quarterback kind of deal. Except this time is a duck sumo wrestler. Sumo Joe. Judy, or Misuzu in Japanese, which means beautiful bell. I assume like a bell in the sense of an elegant lady. Language is hard, okay? But Judy is just a normal name. Yet when I think of the name Judy, I think of Judy Garland, the star of The Wizard of Oz, who, in my opinion, is a classic silver screen beauty. And that was one of the first big movies produced in color. So, lots of pretty colors, just like this bear. Julia is a snooty villager. Julia could be based off of a jewel or jewelry, as snooty villagers just hit me as the type of people who would have very refined tastes, in quotes. I mean, she even calls you darling. Julian, fun fact, his birthday is the same day as the Julius Caesar stabbing. Julian is a different form of the name Julius. And this is all so fitting because he also has a knife in his forehead. But as a name, Julian means youthful or downy, as in super soft hair. And would you look at that? June is a cute islander bear whose Japanese name comes from the Chinese word mei, meaning beauty or reliable sprout, which is pretty cute for a little cub villager. In English, June is a month, however its Latin roots cause it to mean young, being from Juno, the Roman goddess, who is the goddess of love and marriage and bearing children. Yeah, I went there. Puns. 
Kabuki is named after the traditional Japanese plays which were called Kabuki, from which he gets his red pattering face mask thing. Cat is a cat. Keaton is actually cool if you know name meanings and stuff. Keaton means place of hawks, and as you can see, Keaton is the eagle type villager. So perfect. Ken is a chicken, but also a ninja, so sure a Ken. Ketchup! It's a tomato duck. I guess that's an okay name. Kevin! <laughs> as in Kevin Bacon. Cause it's the actor. He's even got the nose! Kid Cat the superhero! Or at least he thinks he is. These helmeted villagers are weird. But Kid Cat's name comes from the fact that he is a kid and a cat. However, it's also a good superhero name, like Green Arrow. It's two words that describe stuff. Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Kid Flash. Kid's name is because he is a goat, and young goats are called kids. Kiki could be named after the sound you make when you call a kitty. Here, kitty kitty! abbreviated as Kiki. Or it could be based off of the movie Kiki's Delivery Service, where Gigi the cat is black with a masculine voice, hence the sweater vest and strong nose. Kit is a kangaroo. You know what kangaroos have? Pouches. You know what pouches are like? Pockets. Pockets. Kit. Kitty is a kitty. Claus's name is a reference to the claws of a bear, but is also derived from the Greek Nikolaos. I mean, he's wearing Greek battle armor and sandals along with the stupid haircut. And he has a Greek-themed nose. And here's a bonus thing. Claus was originally a Scandinavian name before it turned Greek, and his catchphrase is strudel. So his name is a reference to both because bears live in the colder Northern Europe region. This one's so good. This is an A plus tier rank. Give it a billion stars. Knox is a chicken named after Fort Knox, the huge American defense structure that houses like a lot of gold, which is similar to the Japanese name, Kinkakuji, which is also known as the Golden Pavilion. Cody the bear is specifically named after the Kodiak bear. Kyle is based off of the Lycaon Pictus, the wild African dog, which he resembles. Kyle also sounds kind of like canine, like if you say it wrong, Kyle nine. <laughs> Uh, and if not that, one of the more common nicknames for people named Kyle according to the internet is K-Dog. So a wolf it is. Leonardo has Leo in the name, meaning lion, and he's similar enough, he's a leopard. Leonard. Leopard. Yeah, Leopold is a play on the lion's scientific name, Panthera Leo. But Leopold is also a normal last name meaning brave like lions are. Lily is named after lily pads, which are commonly associated with frogs. Limburg is a mouse. Limburg is also a super smelly cheese. No wonder everybody hates him. The name Lobos comes from the Spanish and Portuguese word for wolf, which is lobo, unless it's a lady wolf and then it's loba. But it's a male villager, so lobo it is. Lolly, like the sweet lollipops. She's just super sweet. Every language has her name or catchphrase relate to sweet things, like Ramon and Bonbon. Bon. Lopez, antelopes. Louis the Gorilla, who is similar to Luigi, I guess. He wears a Mario shirt now, but he used to wear an L shirt, but he always played second fiddle to Alfonso. It's like DK and Mario. He also could be named after King Louis, the orangutan from the Jungle Book. I know that they aren't the same thing. It's a gorilla and an orangutan, but they're close enough, right? Lucha is a luchador. You can tell because of the luchador outfit. Lucky is another common dog name, and here it follows the way too common trope of characters being named Lucky that are actually super unlucky. Like, lucky to be alive, I guess, but how is it lucky being constantly injured this much? That's not a lucky thing! I hate this trope! The name Lucy means light, which sort of fits. It's the white pig. Or you could see the name come from Lucy, as in the Lucille Ball, the I Love Lucy girl, who was a black and white TV star, who, again, is a beautiful actress. And I think I think that's what this pig is trying to get across. She's cute and nice. Lyman is a green koala, a lime green man. Lime man. Lemon. Eucalyptus. And Lyman is a topographic name for someone who lived near a meadow or a patch of arable land. So like a big clover field. Mac the jock dog. Again, Mac is a common jock name and a common dog name. Two for one deal here. Are, are real dogs all jocks? Mac became a trope for these kinds of things because Mac means large or built like a truck because of the trucking brand Mac. So there you go, big dogs named Mac. Maddie's name means a woman from Magdala. Maiden, young, unmarried woman, and I'm sure she's not married. However, her Japanese name, Maron, is the name of a chestnut dessert that is colored brown like her fur. Oh, and look at that, Maddie is also another super common female dog name. Mael is French for ambitious. And as a snooty villager, this is true. They're always trying to become rich or famous. 
and that takes ambition. Maggie is short for Margaret, which means Pearl. Mallory is named after the Mallard Duck. Maple the Bear, she's the grateful type, and Maple is Canadian. You see where I'm going here. Plus, bears love maple trees. It's sweet just like honey, super sugary, and perfect for fattening up for the winter. Also, maple leaves are light brown, just like this bear. Marcel. In English, he's named after Marcel Marco, a well-known French mime and actor. Yet, his house is traditionally Japanese, so it could be that his name has to do with mask mixed with conceal. Marcy is a marsupial. Margie is maybe named that because it rhymes with Largy. <laughs> just kidding. Again, it's a nickname of Margaret, which again means pearl, and this time it fits better. I mean, she's white like a pearl and is decorated like one of those gross lollipops. Marina is named after marinas, which are sheltered harbors where boats are kept in the water. Her Japanese name, Takarina, has taco mixed in with it, which means octopus in Japanese. Marshall is named after the little cute marshmallow that he is. Matilda is another kangaroo, but this time it's not a pouch reference. Instead, it's an Australian reference to the waltzing Matilda, the unofficial national anthem of Australia. And if you didn't know, kangaroos live in Australia. Megan is named Candy in Japanese, again, just because she's so sweet. The normal type villagers are all so sweet, but the English name Megan means strong or powerful, and last I checked, bears are pretty strong. Melba's name may relate to the Australian city of Melbourne. I mean, it's a koala after all. There's also the Australian opera singer, Dam Nelly Melba, who owns the ice cream and Melba toast thing, which is popular in Australia. Essentially, it's ice cream on toast. Oh, and her catchphrase is toasty. It helps solidify the link. Meringue gets her name from the cake dessert called meringue. Simple stuff. Mary is quite Mary of a peppy villager. And that might be it for where her name comes from. Midge could be named after a small bug called a midge, as she's a small bird. Yet it may also be about the plumage that birds of a colorful appearance have. Plumage. You know? Mint gets her name from the color of her fur, which is mint green. Mira in Latin means female ruler, and in Japanese, Mirako means truth child. All the while, this rabbit looks like a superhero or even a Sailor Moon-esque person. She's possibly based off of Sailor Moon, and the moon has a lunar rabbit and all that. Plus, the moon is a symbol of the feminine powers in alchemy, hence why this lady rabbit has the name Mira. Miranda in Latin means worthy of admiration, which may fit because of her snooty personality, always trying to be rich and famous. Look at me, I'm worthy of admiration. Mitzi may refer to her paws, which look like they have mittens on them. The name Mitzi is also a generic name for cats in Hebrew, which works as in Japanese her name is Maru, similar to Maru, meaning circle, possibly referencing the circle marking on her face, and it is also a super common name for cats in Japan. Mo could be named after a few things, like the breed of cat, the Egyptian Mao, which I have heard pronounced Mo before. Some say that is how it's pronounced. Mo is also the Dutch word for lazy, which his personality type is, so there's that. Molly is probably just a play on words for Mallard. Monique. <laughs> She's for sure a Marilyn Monroe ripoff. The hair and the beauty mark define that. On top of that, the number of famous actresses that have her exact name, Monique, yeah. Also, I'm for sure she gets manicures. Monicures. Monty the Monkey, another letter play game. His Japanese name is Sarumanti, meaning Monkey Monty. Monty the Monkey, Moose. Ah, but you see, it is a ruse, for it is not a large ungulate, but a small ugly rodent. Okay, so the Scots word moose means mouse in English, and a moose is also a type of dessert, which his hair resembles, and moose is also a hairstyling product that he probably uses for that wacky hairdo. Hmm, at least it's not cheese. Mott. Interestingly, he's named after the 70s band Mott the Hoople, who later reformed under the name British Lions. And he's a lion, so there you go. Muffy is named after her headphone-like horns and hairpiece, which create sort of earmuffs. The name Murphy comes from the Irish and the Scottish. Murphy is the anglicized form of the Gaelic Murchad. This word, it means sea warrior. And because of this, Murphy is the most common surname in Ireland. I bring this up because Murphy says laddie as his catchphrase, and he is a nice green Irish color. Nan is a shortened form of nanny, another word for a female goat. Oh, I get it, because they take care of kids! Ha, English is amazing! Nana, as in banana, because it's a monkey. 
Naomi is a Japanese name meaning beauty, and could refer to Naomi Campbell, a famous fashion model and celebrity. Again, it fits with the snooty villager type. My favorite thing, though, is that her catchphrase is moolah, meaning lots of money, but also moo because cow. Nate is a bear. Bears hibernate. Nibbles! From how squirrels eat their food. Norma the cow. Along with being the only normal villager type cow, her name could reference American farmer and artist Norma Lyon, aka the butter cow lady, who creates elaborate sculptures out of butter, and butter is made from milk, which comes from cows. O'Hare is a common Irish surname when you add an apostrophe, and a hare is a type of rabbit. Octavian is an octopus. I think that name is pretty clear. Olaf. So we have options. It could be like, Ole, the thing bullfighters say, and he's dressed the part. Or it's named after his nose. The sciencey term for nose is olfactory. Olaf, olfactory. Or it could be both. Both, yeah, both is good. Olive is a gray black bear who shares its color with the olive fruit. The black ones anyway. Speaking of olives, Olivia. Her name might refer to her ear, paws, and tail matching the color of Kalamata olives. Opal is named after the gemstone that is turquoise just like her coloration. Also, she's a snooty personality type because she's got a big snoot and is named after a gem. They're always one or the other. Ozzy is an Australian. His name is derived from the term Ozzy, which means Australian. Pancetti is named after pancetta, which is Italian bacon made from salt-cured pork belly. Pongo, funnily enough, named after pangolins, yet this is the least pangolin looking of the anteaters. Paolo is the Latin form of the name Paul, and it's also the Latin word for small, most likely a joke on his large size because he's an elephant. Another overused trope in media, just name the biggest guy tiny, that's funny. Pappy is a horse, but it's colored like an okapi, hence the name. Also his Japanese name is literally okapi. Pashmina's name is literally Pashmina, which is the finest type of cashmere wool. The word pashmina comes from the Persian word pasmina, that I'm mispronouncing probably, which translates to made of wool, and goat wool is pretty great. Pate the duck has a name that derives from pate, a meat spread usually formed of the liver of a duck or goose. Patty, like a cow patty, which is normally a cow dung pile, or it could be like a burger. And I have heard of corrals called patty patches, and corrals are where you keep animals sometimes, like cows. Now, Paula looks like a reformed hippie. I mean, look at that headband. Woodstock alert! Plus, Paula was an extremely common name in the 60s. I mean, look at Paula Abdul. She was born in 62. I'm sure there's tons of Paulas from that time period. You can trust me. Peaches gets the name from the color of her fur, as it's a peach color. Also, peaches grow in these regions, where there's also horse farmers. Peanut is named after the legume that we all call a nut for some reason, because it's a squirrel. Pecan, because squirrel. Peck is what birds do, and he's a bird, so Peck is his name. Pee-wee, another cruel joke by Nintendo making fun of large people by naming them the opposite. Ha ha, I mean, I guess it's better than being named Lardo or something. Peggy is a little piggy, Pecoe. Her name is a reference to tea leaf grading as the highest grade you can have is Orange Pekoe. And her whole thing is having a Chinese-style house and outfit. The word Pekoe can also refer to unopened leaf buds, hence her catchphrase, bud. Penelope's name in Greek means to weave, referencing the bow on top of her head. Also, the name just sounds small. Phil looks like a pheasant, so it's Phil the pheasant. His Japanese name of Kain comes from crane, so Kain the crane. Either way, He's an ostrich villager pretending to be these things. Phoebe in English and Hinoko in Japanese. Both are based off of the mythical phoenix, known as Hinotori in Japanese. Pierce could be based off of his ability to sink his real world talons into flesh and pierce it, or it's a reference to Hawkeye from MASH, the classic TV show, as his real name was Benjamin Pierce, and Pierce is an eagle so Hawkeye is fitting. Pie throw, he's got a pie, he throws it! Like a clown from Brooklyn, eh? That was not a... That was not a Brooklyn accent at all. He gotta throw away the trash. Yeah, if you want a real one, here you go. His name is derived from pied, which means having multicolored patchwork appearance, referring to the color of his wool. Pied is also what clowns make you. And if you look at the word Pierrot, it's similar to his name. And its meaning is a French pantomime or clown. Lots of stuff in this one. Unlike Pinky. She's pink. Piper is based off the sandpiper. Pippy is Peppy. Plucky is a chicken and you pluck chickens before turning them into food. 
pom pom. Many peppy villagers aspire to become cheerleaders, which use pom poms, and also she's a fluffy duck like the pom poms used in crafts. Poncho is named after the traditional South American garment, the poncho. He may also be based upon the speckled bear, a diminutive species native to the Andean mountains, and the only surviving species of bear in South America. Poppy is either a reference to the poppy, a red flower, or maybe poppy seeds, which are commonly used to make sweets and pastries, which again fit the normal personality type's sweet attitude. At this point, we might as well call it the sweet personality type. Portia is a common English name for individuals of high class, which references her snooty attitude. Prince, from the famous storybook tale, The Frog Prince. Puck, as in hockey puck, because he's a penguin who loves hockey, and hockey is played on ice, and ice is where penguins live. Puddles is a frog. Frogs love puddles. The name Pudge relates to his lazy personality. They normally are fat, aka pudgy. Punchy is a lazy cat whose name comes from the word punchy, which means being groggy or dazed from a series of punches, hence the lazy or tired personality type. Pearl is not only referring to pearls again, because she's snooty, but also she's a cat and cats purr. Pearl. Purr. Queenie is also a snooty villager, so it could be based solely off of that, but it could also be based off of Queensland, Australia, where emus live, because she kind of looks like an emu, a counterpart to ostriches. Quilson could be named after a quill, which is made of feathers. Rattle, like a rattle cough, a term for violent, hard coughing, which is related to him wearing a mask, which we all should do when sick, regardless of a pandemic or not. Come on. Rasher is a style of bacon or ham. Basically, it's thinly cut slices of the meat. And he's a pig, so you know. Pork, bacon, that whole thing. Raymond. Uh, well, everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> the name Raymond means advice or counsel giver, and well, he's smug and quite business-like. Perhaps managerial then, giving advice to his constituents. Rene, like Rhino, but Rene. Funny stuff, Rene, because horses go nay. These are pretty great. Rex in Latin means king or lord, and this is a lion, the king of the jungle. Rhonda is a rhino whose name is a play on rhino. Its etymology suggests Rhonda means good spear from the Welsh. Ron, spear, and da, good. And well, these horns are spear-like. Ribot. It's a robot frog. Frogs go ribbit. Ricky is the first squirrel that looks like a squirrel and isn't a nut. However, his Japanese name is Filbert, which is odd because there's another one named Filbert because of the Filbert nut. But Ricky might be close to Rocky, as in Rocky and Bullwinkle, the classic moose and squirrel cartoon. Rilla. It's a gorilla. Rizzo. The English name is probably a reference to the Muppet Rizzo, who is also a rat. Also, what is up with the Japanese thief mask? Rold is likely named after Rold Amundsen, a Norwegian polar explorer who led the first successful expedition to reach the South Pole, as well as being the first person to reach both poles. And it rhymes with cold, which is where penguins live. Robin. Rocco is possibly named after his cranky personality. He's a bit rocky which is an adjective used to describe an obstinate or stubborn individual. Also, he wants to be a boxer, just like old Rocky Balboa. Rocket is another superhero villager. Being a gorilla and named Rocket is possibly because of the primate rocket missions that NASA did, where they shot apes into space. Rod is the name you get when you take rodent, but make it even shorter. Because he's short, he's a little rodent. Yeah. Rodeo is named after rodeos, where bull riding competitions occur. He's even got black and red eyes. The most cartoony depiction of an angry bull, seeing red and all. Rodney could be a reference to the character that appears in the 1998 movie Dr. Doolittle, or he could be named after roadies, as that's his dream profession. Rolf is similar to the name Ralph, and is similar to his own catchphrase, Grolf. Possibly being the noise tigers make, you know, growls. But also, he's gruff, like a grumpy character. So he goes Grolf. Rooney. You could say the name is just Rooney because kangaroo, but his Japanese name, Maiku, likely references Mike Tyson. You know, the big boxing champion. You know, this guy wants to be a boxer and all. But the guy who trained Mike Tyson was named Kevin Rooney. Rooney. There you go. Hey, at least it's not Australian. Rory's name is based off of Roaring, the act that lions do. Roscoe is named after the award-winning jockey Roscoe Goose, even though it's a horse and not a goose. Names are weird. Rosie is one of the more popular characters of the game, appearing many times on the cover itself. So her name has to be deep, right? No, not really. Her name is just a flower. It smells sweet and pleasant, just like her personality. It also can refer to her rosy cheeks. It works. 
Rowan is a Scottish surname meaning little redhead, redheads of course actually having orange hair. And also Rowan is said to have a fiery personality, so orange. Ruby is albino, and her name references her red eyes and ears. Because of the albinism, she doesn't have any pigment, so her blood shows through. And rubies are red sapphires, so it's an apt name. Rudy is normally short for the name Rudolph, which is why he's got such a bright red nose. Ah, finally! Sally the Squirrel. Yeah, the one that changed the names of two other villagers. Her first name was Hazel, like Hazelnut, and then when Sally with a C came in, she took Sally with an S's name, and then when Hazel, the new one, came in, she took Callie's name, but it's Sally, it's the name of the Hazel. It's, it's all nuts, man. Sally Acorn is a chipmunk. Those are close. The Adventures of Sally the Squirrel is a thing. Sally's just a really common squirrel name. It means princess. I guess those sophisticated eyes make her look like a princess. But otherwise, this one's hard. You know that thing where you name a big character something small? Well, here's the opposite. It's Samson! You know, the great, powerful, strong man from the Bible. But here he's a mouse. At least he's a jock of a mouse. Could also be named after, uh, Samson the Mouse the Betty Boop character. Sandy is an ostrich villager. People seem to think that ostriches stick their heads in the sand when they're frightened, but they only do that when they're digging their nests. They wouldn't be able to breathe if they just buried themselves. Savannah is a zebra, which live on the plains of Africa, known as the Savannah. Scoot could have to do with his ducky helmet. I mean, if he rides scooters, he would need a helmet. However, the name Scooter in pop culture normally means someone who likes speed, either a car guy or an extreme sports guy. Either of which, the helmet helps. Plus his catchphrase is zip zoom. Sherry could be pronounced two ways, Sherry or Shari. The Anglo-Saxon's meaning is princess or darling, and I mean she's dressed up, so maybe. But then the Hebrew meaning is song of God, and Shari's hobby is music or melodies. But I'd like to think that the localization team thought of both meanings while naming her. Sheldon, he's a squirrel. Squirrels eat nuts. You know what nuts have? They got hard shells on them. Shell on, shelled on, shep is not a sheep, but a shepherd of sheep. I mean, the bangs give it away right away. It's a sheepdog. Sherb is an ice cold goat named after the dessert, Sherbert. Simon says, monkey see, monkey do. That's the thing. Now Loxton says, click subscribe button. Sky is named after her coloration, which resembles the sky and clouds. Sly is sly. You can't even see them unless you squint. Ooh, I didn't realize they made snake villagers. Oh. It could be named Snake because snakes are sneaky, hence Snake of Metal Gear, and this guy is a ninja. Also, if you mix up the letters in Snake, you get Sneak, and snakes eat rabbits. You are what you eat, so if this guy gets eaten by a snake, then the snake gets even more snakish. Snooty, well, is a snooty villager first off, but also has a huge snoot. The nose. It's, it's the nose joke again. So Lyle means sun in French, and while she is the snooty type, I don't think she will be as famous as the sun the brightest of the stars. She kind of does look like the sun though, with her ball-like body and reddish hue. Sparrow is a Eurasian tree sparrow who likes to spar. He's a jock. Spork, like pork sprinkles, which you put onto ice cream. Yeah, it's the dessert topping. Sprocket is named after the mechanical part called a sprocket, or maybe sprint and rocket put together, because ostriches love to run real fast, like a rocket. Static, named after the type of electricity, because he has a lightning bolt pattern on his head. Also, rodents tend to be electric type in Pokemon. The Latin word Stella means star. She might be based on the constellation Aries, because it's also a horned sheep. And I mean, her birthday is April 9th, so she's an Aries for sure. Sterling is from sterling silver, which is an alloy of silver made of 92.5% by weight silver and 7.5% by weight other materials. It also could be the starling, a type of bird, which he is. And maybe even the Sterling Renaissance Festival, a popular festival where you dress up like Renaissance citizens. Oh my God, it's all three of them. It's a three-way pun. This is one of the best names yet. Stinky may or may not actually be stinky. I mean, he's green. So that's kind of off-putting. And he's got underwear on his head. Uh, either that or he's a heel wrestler. You know, the bad guy who puts on a show and cheats. Normally people give them rude nicknames that they then embrace. Stitches is named after her stitch work pattern and the fact that she is a stuffed bear. Or at least looks like one. Stir because of beef stew. Either that or it's short for steward, which means guardian. And while he doesn't look like a fighter, I bet most bull would be able to guard their herd just fine. Sydney. It's named after the Australian city because koalas only come from Australia and can't have interesting names. 
Silvana is possibly derived from the Latin term silva, which means forest. Thus, she's a forest squirrel. It's refreshing to have more non-nut squirrels in here. In a world of Australian city named koalas, Silvia was another hard one, as all we could think of was how much she looks like a Mega Karen. The name's Latin origins mean from the forest, and the only thing we could come up with is that since her colors are darker, she might be based on a tree kangaroo, which also carry their babies this way, but they live in trees, in forests. Uh, they're the same color as her hair. T-Bone is named after the juicy cut of meat, the T-Bone steak, which comes from steer. Tabby is a tabby cat. Tad is a frog, which grow from tadpoles. Tammy, spelled with an I, is a horror to behold. She's a monkey, lemur, lemon. Pretty spooky. The name is probably from the golden-mantled tamarin. Tamarin, Tammy. Simple, Tammy with a Y in Hebrew means palm tree, similar to the coloration of her fur. But I assume she's named Tammy because of the Polish painter, Tamara de Lempica, who was famous for her cubist art. And if you split that word in two, it's cube-ist. She's a cub villager. Cub ist. That was my knee. I slapped it. I slapped my knee. Tangy's name comes from her tangy attitude, or actually the fact that she's a tangerine, which which can be tangy. Now, Tank's name could come from a few things, like rhinos are called tank puppies on the internet, but also he's a jock and likes to wear tank tops. Then again, rhinos are basically tanks, heavily armored moving things. Then again, a tank is normally a nickname given to a really strong man, normally by gym buddies. And again, he's a jock personality type. Tasha is a secret agent squirrel, like secret agent squirrel. Her name is based on Natasha, a common Russian spy name, like Black Widow. Wait a second. Natasha. Tasha. Nut. Tasha. Squirrel! Teddy is named after the teddy bear, which is a stuffed animal named after Teddy Roosevelt. Tex is funny because Texas is like the opposite place you would expect to see a penguin. But I mean, his saying is picante, which means spicy in Spanish, which they love in Texas. But also, penguins look like they're wearing little tuxedos, hence Tux the Penguin, the mascot of Linux, hence the villager. Tia, she's a little teapot. Boop. Another funny thing, because those are small and delicate, and elephants are big and not. It's Tiffany! Wow, that's just straight up Audrey Hepburn from the hit song Breakfast at Tiffany's. This snooty villager makes me uncomfortable. The fishnet leggings and makeup and all that could also reference Playboy bunnies. And there's also the Tiffany Jewelry Company. Oh gosh, she really is the snootiest. Timbra! She looks like a pine cone, which come from pine trees, which we get a lot of timber from. Tipper is named after the act of tipping cows. Tom is a tomcat. Truffles. So there are pigs specifically trained to snout out truffles, which only grow underground in the wild. Tucker is named after his tusks. He is a woolly mammoth after all. How does Blathers deal with a living fossil? Tutu is cute and peppy and pink, just like tutus, which she isn't wearing. But there is more, trust me. A tutu is a common dress in ballet. Ballet is super big in Russia, and tutu is a polar bear, commonly associated with the far north, as in Russia. So she's a Russian ballerina polar bear. Twiggy is a bird, named after the fact that birds use twigs in their nests. Tybalt shares a name with a character in William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, who was named King of the Cats, Ursula. Her name comes from the Latin and Portuguese word Ursa, which means bear, and the female name, Ursula. Velma is another common name to give a nerdy woman. And this Velma looks sort of like Velma Dinkley, the Scooby-Doo character. I mean, even the sweater color and the glasses. Vesta is named after her vest. I mean, vests are commonly made out of wool. Or it could be because of her coloration. She could be named after Vesta, the Roman goddess of hearth, home, and fire. And better yet, it's probably all of this. Vic is short for Viking, and we all know Vikings had horns. But actually, they didn't. It's all a myth propagated by Big Opera. Victoria is named after the Victoria Derby, or the famous racehorse Victoria Parr. Probably both. Violet, who is most definitely named after her coloration because her fur is violet. Vivian means life, or more specifically, the origin of life. And being snooty, she perhaps sees herself as that important. But other than that, I'm not so sure about this one. It was hard, took a lot more digging than most. But it does sound like a fancy name, that's for sure. Vivian is one of the ladies of the lake in the King Arthur mythos. There's Saint Vivianus, there's a saint, there's a couple princesses, and Aunt Vivian from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. See? Fancy people. Vladimir is an extremely traditional Russian name, hence the catchphrase being yet, or Russian for no. He also is a bear, again, which are very commonly seen in Russia. And he's got that classic Russian hairdo. 
in blonde even, wade. So apparently wading is more than just walking into water. It's also the term for how penguins hunt. Walker, the dog. Ooh, you take on walks. It's a joke about dog walking. Walt, remember that one kangaroo, Matilda, named after the waltzing Matilda? Yeah, Walt is named for the same song. Either that or after Walt Disney, who drew the kangaroo mascot for the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Casey, the kangaroo. Wart Jr. I sure hope he's not related to Wart from the Mario games. Cause that's gross. But both are frogs, and frogs have warts. Well, not all of them do, but these, these ones do. Weber is named after his ducky feet, which are webbed and have webbing. So he's Weber, which is also a brand of grill that I'm sure would grill up some tasty, tasty duck meat. Wendy, whose catchphrase is, every cloud has a silver lining, which is important because she's like a cloud, a fluffy, fluffy sheep. Thus, Wendy could be a play on the word windy, which makes clouds move and stuff. Whitney is a white wolf. Whitney, white. Here you go. Willow is named after the golden willow tree that resembles a large golden fleece-like canopy, much like our golden fleeced sheep. Winnie is named after the onomatopoeia a horse makes. They go, Winnie-nee-nee-nee-nee. Wolfgang is named after either the fact that he is a wolf and wolves lead gangs, or maybe it's Mozart. You know, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who was known for being cranky, just like this guy. But also, his picture quote is, I could eat you for breakfast which may reference this dude, Wolfgang Puck, a chef famous for his breakfast dishes. Yucca, because koalas eat eucalyptus. Zell, because he resembles a gazelle. And Zucker, because he's got suckers. But they changed it to the name Zuck, like Mark Zuckerberg. Which uh, brings us to the end of all of the villager names explained. Oh man, they're gonna add more. I'm pretty sure they're gonna add more in updates. It'll happen. Uh, we didn't even go over like all the like main characters. That's a different video. Hope this one does well. If you liked it, leave a like, share it around. It's I don't know how long this is gonna be. Uh, how long have I recorded? Oh geez, over two hours of recording. So you'll know how much I messed up by uh, how long this video is versus two hours and 10 minutes. Check out these videos here and never stop using your noggin.